smooth pavement, and the steady flow of traffic, the products of an effective pavement management program. But today, with so many roads in deteriorating condition, reconstruction, rehabilitation, and maintenance programs are being stressed to new limits. Engineers face a pressing need to develop environmentally acceptable and cost-effective solutions in order to continue to meet the demands of the driving public. One solution lies in the rapidly advancing technology of hot-in-place recycling. This latest generation of multi-stage resurfacing equipment renews worn roads with little or no additional raw materials. It delivers impressive surface quality and it offers the engineer an environmentally sensible, performance-proven, and very cost-effective solution to today's rehabilitation challenge. Hot in place recycling is defined as the recycling of existing pavement in the presence of heat and on site to a depth of approximately two inches. It is an appropriate solution for renewing cracked and worn road surfaces or to provide a stabilized bottom lift as one element in a larger project. The process eliminates the need to purchase and truck in large quantities of raw materials, benefiting the environment and leading to impressive cost savings. A two-lane highway, for example, can be hot in place recycled for about half the cost of a conventional asphalt overlay. Used as a bottom lift, a two-inch recycle followed by a two-inch overlay still results in substantial cost savings as compared to four inches of fresh asphalt. Hot in place recycling is a two-stage process completed in a single pass of the machinery. In the first stage, the old pavement is heated and removed to a depth of up to one and a quarter inches. In the second stage, a second layer of pavement is removed of approximately equal thickness to the first. Finally, the two pavement layers are combined to form a hot asphalt mixture, which is relayed as a new road surface. By recycling to a depth of at least two inches, the rehabilitated pavement meets engineering performance expectations. A typical two-stage hot-in-place recycling system consists of a preheater, two separate heater milling machines, and a paver. The four components follow one another in a paving train, recycling up to two and a half inches of asphalt in a single pass. The preheater begins the process by softening the existing pavement. The machine is equipped with an afterburner, which reduces emissions to a level which meets government air quality standards. Similar emission control units are also mounted on both heater milling machines, making the overall operation virtually smoke-free. The first milling machine, or A unit, closely follows the preheater. Infrared heaters soften the asphalt up to a depth of one and a quarter inches, Floating milling heads then remove the first layer of the road surface. The hot milled material is windrowed to the center of the lane. Asphalt rejuvenator may also be added at this point. The B unit and paver complete the process. As seen here, virgin asphalt or aggregate materials may be added to the mix via the B unit's front mounted hopper. A conveyor carries the windrow pile over the B unit's heaters. The newly exposed surface is heated and then milled across the full lane width up to an additional depth of one and a quarter inches. The 12 foot automatic grade controlled milling head profiles the road base to the desired grade and cross slope. The first and second stage material is then combined and thoroughly mixed in the pug mill. From here, all the material is elevated into the paver hopper. A conventional track paver, which easily attaches to the tail of the B unit, lays the material out as a completely reconstituted roadway. 
Since the roadway is replaced at its original level, there is no need to pave shoulders or redo turning lanes, which show less wear than the main thoroughfare. Overpass clearances and curb heights need not be altered. Productivity is excellent, with typical speeds of 20 feet per minute, resulting in average daily production of 15,000 square yards, or two lane miles. Operation of the machinery is straightforward, and the equipment can be easily maneuvered over castings, manholes, and around sharp curves. The single lane configuration minimizes inconvenience to motorists, and since there is minimum trucking of raw materials, there are fewer traffic tie-ups and fewer hazards to driver safety. Nearly all types of pavement defects, which are not structural or subgrade related, can be rehabilitated with hot in place recycling, though supplemental binder and aggregate may be required. In order to ensure a successful operation, the decision to recycle should always be based on a thorough pre-construction analysis. This includes a visual survey of the condition of the existing pavement, a review of all available as-built construction and maintenance histories, determination that existing pavement structure and drainage is suitable for the anticipated use, and that the in-place materials are acceptable for recycling with any necessary modifications. Guidelines are available to assist with mixed design once the decision has been made to recycle. During construction, the process should be carefully monitored in order to ensure a quality product. The physical properties of the mix should be laboratory tested. The performance of the recycled asphalt has been the subject of a joint study between the British Columbia Ministry of Transportation and Highways, the National Research Council, and the University of Nevada at Reno. The study is based on a field and laboratory investigation of 30 hot-in-place recycling projects. The data collected indicates that the physical properties of the hot-in-place recycled mixture are equivalent to those of conventional asphalt concrete. Visual records have been kept on projects representing both moderate and severe climate types. They show that the recycled asphalt, such as seen here on the Trans-Canada Highway, exhibits less cracking than similar sections of road treated with a conventional asphalt overlay. This is because the recycling process eliminates the cracks, whereas the asphalt overlay simply covers them up, allowing the overlaid cracks to reflect up to the surface. The performance of the two rehabilitation methods appears to be equal with respect to other types of pavement distresses, such as raveling, rutting, and shoving. Here in British Columbia, we are currently recycling 1,200 lean kilometers of our highway each year in the pavement rehabilitation program. Overall, we are very impressed with the quality of the recycled asphalt, and the ministry has now become a firm believer in this new technology. The process has attracted international attention. Asphalt experts from nine countries gathered in Vancouver, British Columbia, to attend HIP 91, an information exchange on hot-in-place recycling. The focus of the conference was on appropriate applications for this valuable new technology. Hot-in-place recycling has repeatedly proven itself as a viable rehabilitation alternative. Its cost-effectiveness, practicality, and engineering and environmental benefits make it a valuable part of a balanced pavement management program. For more information on how two-stage hot-in-place recycling can be included in your pavement management planning, please contact the following.
material is elevated.